Went from condos to pops house. On calls now bus routes. And the one person who had the key to my heart took it and checked out. When you first came out, you know, you was putting your music out and everything like that. You started to really create that buzz, you mm -hmm. know, and everything. What was that joint, that song that you feel like was that song that people was really starting to catch on to? That song that gave you that that big buzz, you know, uh, everybody starting to know DW. Probably right now, I would tell you the song is, oh, the, um, I say I do bodily harm with a handgun. Okay. Hey, shot two of his homies, nigga, and one. Uh, yeah, that right there. Yeah. Hey, everywhere I go, everywhere, people people love bodily harm featuring okay. uh, Ja'Kai. Shout yeah. out my nigga Ja'Kai. Dope. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. And, and you've had a lot of collabs, man. That's one thing I can say about you. You know, you say mm -hmm. Vince Staples, Savvy Third, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 you know, a, a lot of different individuals, you know, mm -hmm. um, when it comes down to your collabs and everything, is there anyone out there that you would say, if I could collab with anybody outside of all the people I collab with, this is who I would want to work with, mm -hmm. and why would you want to work with that individual? I just talked about this with my uh, with my baby mama the other day, and she just and I just told her I was like, because I've been saying I wanted a feature with Ed Sheeran, people, to, you know what I'm saying? Wow, and that's that's a that's a thing for me, Ed Sheeran. Giveon, you know, um, yeah. everything else, everybody else is, is sh shit I'm gonna run into. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I already got real relationships, real like normalcy with these people. Like we, you know, just, yeah, yeah. you know. You gonna bump into them because y'all yeah. in the same industry and everything like right, that right. basically. Yeah, yeah, we chill already. Yeah. Everybody know me already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ed Sheeran, where that come from though? I mean, Ed Sheeran dope though, don't give it, mm. he dope, mm. but like, well, where did that come from? They're like, you know what? I would love to create with you know create with him. You know, I lived in Australia for in 2013. What? Okay. And just the vibe of that music that would play in every store and everywhere I go, and made me feel free. Wow. His music made me feel free. It made me feel good. It made me feel a vibe. It it goes with the vibe that people never seen in my life. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? They didn't, they ain't even see who I was when I was living in Australia. I was just yeah. I was a normal human human being. Yeah. As in, my name D W Flame out here. My out there I'm Demaris. That's yeah, my yeah. name. Cool, just cool, clean, clean contract. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I ain't no I ain't no known felon out there. I ain't no. You, everything was new, you yeah, know, yeah, and yeah. everything was good. I was healthy. My life was going good. It was, it was, it was great, bro. Yeah. Great experience. It showed me where I need to be, where I want to be. Man, that's dope. How long was you out there in Australia? Uh, for a year. Wow, wow. I mean, that's one thing people don't know who haven't traveled, man. When you, you know, because I've been places, you know, uh, uh, Colombia, um, Europe, you know, um, Belgium, you know, all mm -hmm. type of places. One thing people don't know, especially us as black men, when you go outside of the country and go to some of these other places, you ain't looked at the same way you looked at it in the hood. Right, right, right. When you from L.A., when you from Watts, Long Beach, and places like that. Right. They don't look at you like that, mm -hmm. you know? In fact, they looking at you like, oh, wow. You're a superstar. You know? <laughs> yeah, who yeah. are you, you know, and, and, and things like that, you know? That's one thing that I think that all, all you know, black men who come from where we come from mm. need to experience, man, because right, right. it's different. Right. You know? And opened my eyes just to live over there for a while. I was I was staying this, I was staying there, I was my first time living in a mansion, yeah. and, and um, my brother flew me out there because he played professional basketball in Australia. Okay, okay. And I was out here getting into, getting into some shit, so he flew me out in perfect timing. Wow. And, Nigga, I was just out there living. I would even, my brother would call looking for me some days. I'm like, nigga, I'm chilling. I'm, <laughs> I'm out. I'm driving on the other side of the road. I got me a little Russian girlfriend. Yeah. Nigga, I'm out there <laughs> doing my thing. I'm still, I, I'm still into little shit. Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I'm still out there faded, chilling, doing yeah. my thing, working out every day, taking care of my body. Yeah, you know, making yeah. my money, earning it. You know, that was my first time having a real job. Yeah. I worked in these hospitals, putting up the TVs and shit like that for uh, the coach. One of the coaches, he he ran a business. Mm. And he that's who house I was staying at, too. Okay. It was like a big-ass business, like Verizon. Wow. You know wow. what I'm saying? So we out there. We out there chilling, living it up. Yeah. You know, the house is so motherfucking big, my brother. I'm thinking he gone, he just on the other side. You yeah, feel me? Yeah. That, and so I I knew that day. I knew that day I looked around out there. I'm like, nigga, 
this what I need. This what I need to get like. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So that like that really inspired you on a whole nother level. I was wishing my peoples could see. I'm yeah. like, nigga, they don't even see. Man. I'm man. out here doing I'm out here doing great. And I can stay as long as I need to. I'm yeah. good. I'm cool. I can I'm still good in Australia. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like I got peoples out there, like they all still have my followers, everybody. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. And this was like right before you really went hard. Man, this on the was two thousand thirteen. Yeah, you okay, know, okay. and they still seeing me now. They fucking with it now. Like, man, when you gonna come back? Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna go back out there soon. Probably in the, this year or next year. Yeah, wow, man, that's dope, man. You yeah, know, man. I, I that's one thing that a lot of people may not even know about you. Fun fact. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know. <laughs> what, what? It, yeah. If we did a trivia, did DW live in <laughs> Australia for a year? Yes, they get that wrong. Yeah, if if you put like, hey, Australia, where do you think DW yeah. live? Australia, Colombia, Chicago, Hawaii, <laughs> Chicago. They definitely they gonna pick Australia last. <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? Straight up, that's dope, man. That's what's up. Would you say that experience when you came back? That experience took your like motivation to a whole nother level because you saw what it was to live good mm. and, and be in another country. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And you you already know to live like that, you got to be doing something. Mm. You know, you got to have something going on. Mm. So would you say that's something that really inspired you to go to even another level with mm. what you was trying to do in your life? Yeah, because I see what my brother had going on. I'm like, he like, nigga, this is what I be out here doing, making money, yeah, yeah, yeah. chilling, cause fuck all that hood shit, all that yeah. this shit. I, I'm like, I peep because I never knew my brother been gone for years. He he, Australian citizen, American Australian. Wow. So I'm like, damn, okay. I'm like, now nah, I got I got to show cuz something too. What <laughs> he's, you know what I'm saying? That's my big brother. That's shout out E Will. That's only nigga ever showed me like you know yeah. besides Nick Cannon and you know where I'm. But yeah, I was like, let me take this shit to the next level. Yeah. Because I even like to be real, I see my brother getting older, you know, he he surpassed everything. Like, mm-hmm. you know, we can ever imagine coming out of our house cuz we not one person in my family did nothing. Yeah, yeah. So, nigga, that was amazing. I'm like, okay, my brother made it over overseas. He would have went to the league if he didn't mess up a little bit in school. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, now it's my turn to make it to the league. Yeah, yeah. You know, he made it to Australia. So he still made it pro, you Man. know, but it's my turn to go, you know, major league. Yeah, yeah, real talk. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, hey, making it out there, you got your mansion, you doing your thing, doing what you love, you made it. I don't yeah, care about this pro nah. overseas. That's, they don't, that don't matter, pro. bro. Yeah, it's still pro. And that's pro, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? And I mean, like NBA, whatever. Right. That's You know what I'm saying? Right. Most of the people that that came back later, you know, and everything like that, that played like basketball and went overseas, most of those individuals – if you if you talk to them, they live just as good as the NBA right, players. Right, right, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, most of them have not even came back. Yeah. You saw like Steph R. Marbury story. Right. You know, he was treated like a king. Never right. been treated like that in the NBA. Right. You know? So they do you right, man. That's yeah. dope.